it fair to say the charity event didn't go as planned? It was a huge success. Right. Everyone had a great time and it was, it was just an, a beautiful, beautiful event, I have to say. And I have to take the credit for that because a lot of it was my doing. Listen, I've thrown some of the most fabulous parties Atlanta has ever seen, honey. We are not going to forget my forever fabulous and forever relevant party, season five. I mean, come on, what was more fabulous than that? Like, I know how to throw a party. I know how to make things look grand. I know that that is a lane that I really do well in. And so I wanted to take the lead, but he also wanted to take the lead and you can only have one quarterback. You probably have a step and repeat here. It's gotta be right when you first come in. The stage has to be here. Get the plugs so it makes sense. I think you have your tables here, bam, bam, bam. Not too close to the bathroom. The food shouldn't be close to the bathroom. It'll be tight for That's 100. like about, that's 50 people versus 100 people. And Seats, you know the tables is. can't be near the bathroom, so everything has to be on this side. I think that Mark likes to be a boss, and he is a boss in his own right. So he's used to taking the lead on business things. But I'm his partner, and he needs to understand that when you have a partner, you consult with your partner, you do things together instead of racing ahead and basically pretending or treating me like I'm a work buddy <laughs> um, versus a partner. So I let him take the lead, but eventually it circled back around to him really needing my help to pull it off. Mm. Yeah. I was trying to step in at the last minute to take care of some of the fires, but had I been involved from the beginning and really had the reins from the beginning, it could have been like out of this world. Do you feel like Mark was was respectful enough to you through this process? Do you feel like he was? Respect? What's that? What? Uh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. um, I think that when you want to take the lead on everything, I don't think that you respect many things <laughs> that other people have to bring to the table, including myself. Um, no, I think that I should have been treated in a way that honored the gifts that I have, that I could have blessed him with for the event. And I just don't think it ended up like that. How do you like to step every week? It's fine. Just fine. Let's just step up. I hate it. No, I hate it. Everybody knows that. I just felt like all night there was tension. I just didn't, didn't think he was very warm to me. He never thanked me in front of the crowd. It was just a lot going on, but I kept my head up and a smile on my face to represent our family well. It just wasn't a pleasant evening and it just did not end well. And I just think at that point we were just very tired of the back and forth and um, just the stress of our relationship and where we were. Is Mark happy? Mm -hmm. I don't know where he went to. Oh, yes. 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 It's invasive. Tell them that's it, they, they can't film forever. Tell them they gotta wrap it. Got it, got it. Don't tell me I got it. I'm giving you five minutes and then I'm gonna take care of it. If I come back down here, it's not it's gonna be ugly. I don't give a F. End it. So you're never going to see me again after this event. But um, I'm just happy that the event turned out to be what he wanted. Let's go back to the charity event. Um, there was a couple of things I really didn't appreciate that night about the charity event. Like, you know, at the end of the day, whatever issues Kenny and I go through, mm -hmm. she's my girl. She's my girl, and I know how invested and how much she loves her family. Yeah. That night, I guess I was paying even more attention than I would normally because Mike was hosting. And one of the things that I noticed that Mark didn't do was he didn't thank Kenya for helping him with the event, which I know she did. Kenya's the reason we were all there. We well, didn't know Mark, we knew Kenya. Your soon-to-be husband kind of prompted him, remember that? Yeah. Again, thank you guys for all uh, attending. One more time for your kings. And I know the black man's lab, they don't let women in or whatever, but we want to acknowledge our queens out there as well. <laughs> thank your wife, acknowledge your wife, and say, 
you know, he gives up and gets, he, you know, he stands up and gives a speech and he does not even acknowledge Kenya. I know how involved she was. Right. And right. making sure that he had an amazing event. And I just, you don't think that it was didn't just sit well with an me. accident. And I'm just saying, he's not super duper outgoing from like the communication standpoint. Again, thank you guys for all uh, attending. So maybe like, yeah, he should have thanked his wife, but. I receive what you're saying, but you know. And Mark ain't my friend, I'm just, you look, know. I receive what you're saying, Eva, but I just feel like, I'm not saying that he intentionally set out to not acknowledge right. her or thank her. I just thought it was just really in poor taste that he did. And I must say, the event when it came to like Kenya and Mark, they weren't like the perfect couple, right? But I don't- To say the least. Think that I had any like suspicion that it was what it was. And so I just thought, No, you know, no, I've seen all sides to Mark. I've seen Mark where he's just been amazing, where I'm like, I get it. I know why you're in love with this man. I know why you married this man. And then I've seen other sides where I'm just like, I don't get it. Like, he's not that nice. Like, even from the beginning, you know, we were the first ones there because Literally. Mike was hosting it. Mike was driving me crazy. Like, we gotta be there. I wanna make sure I'm on time. I don't wanna disappoint Mark. I wanna make sure I have all my information. I wanna make sure I do a good job. I was yeah, like, yeah. all right, all right, okay, okay. And then we get there, we're like, hey, we're here. And Mark pretty much, I mean, didn't even speak to us for the first, like, 20 minutes or so. And we're like, hi. Before we got there? Yeah, like, he just was kind of like, seemed like he was in a bad mood or agitated or whatever. Like, his energy was off. So, so you gotta, you kind of smelled the smoke before everybody He didn't seem else. like he was in a good mood that night. Like well, he's just, I heard he was mad that I ate early. Well, that did come up. Which was another asshole thing. Like, you're a pregnant woman. You're about to have the baby on the floor we're right now. So we're gonna get you a little chair so you can sit down because you're big and pregnant right now. And we're gonna get you a piece of bread. Thank because you. it's gonna get you through and here's some water as well until we start the whole event. Because I feel That's bad what people do. after the fact when they were like, yo, Mark was really irritated that you ate. No, but that makes no sense. In hindsight, obviously there was some, some problems going on again. We never really knew all the things that was really going on in that relationship. Because pretty much all hell broke loose the next day. The next day. Well, the night day. of the event after the event, some things happen. And that's so, why, I, I mean, I heard that there was some stuff after the event and like he was kicking out production. And no, it was, like this. it was, it was bad. Wasn't there an issue with Marlo's seat at Mark's event? Um, well, you know, I was like the last yeah. one to get there. Mm -hmm. So by the time I had walked in, I saw, Marlo was coming out the door as I was coming in the door and she was fussing and was saying something about she didn't even have a seat or something like that. Which was not true. No, because I got to sit at a whole other table, not with everybody. Look at some of the entertainers out there. Home. I think I love sitting like we're not with the crew. Don't you ever let a person make you feel in second place. This is why I don't like Marlo and I never will. She has no class. What? She's classless. She has no class. First of all, I humbled myself enough to invite you, even though I did not want to invite her to begin with. I don't like her. I don't like how she has, um, the things that she has done and said to me this season and prior seasons. Okay, but this was a charity event. I know, I'm getting to that. But this was a charity event and I invited her anyway, which was my original point. Everyone was asked to RSVP. She was invited. Did she RSVP? No. Then she comes late, and then she brings two additional guests. One thing about my nephews, I can't teach them how to be men, so I'm looking forward to this evening. I get there with my nephews, and it's a school night, keep in mind. I wanted them to be around other men like themselves, and you know, they're successful, and just to look up to all these men. So I'm like, oh, we'll go for a couple hours. She came in, and she was just like looking crazy, like upset, causing a scene. I was like, what? I went up to her, I was like, is everything okay? She's like, yeah, man. She barked at me. Okay, so what was you know, so that? Was when I was younger, it wasn't there. So, the call I was upset because I feel that if you invite me to such a nice event, mm -hmm. when I go there, your name is gonna be on the table and you're gonna have a seat. And she goes, well, I don't have a seat. I said, no, there's your seat right there. And literally it was right next to my table. And then she, whatever it was, she maybe didn't hear me clearly or whatever the case may be, but she thought I was pointing somewhere in the back of the room yeah. when the seats were right there and empty. And she's like, oh, sit over at this table. So I just, at first I felt it was shady. Yeah. 
And I mean, if it was genuine or if it was really a mistake coming from her, it just didn't seem like it. But I asked Mark. I'm going to ask a question also, not being messy, because you know me and Kenya, I'm not being messy. I'm not going to. You know I don't like the drama. But I wanted to know, what that, did I have a table? Yeah, you did. Actually, the same table with Nene. And he said he did have a name tag there, and it must have gotten lost. So. Who comes to a charity event late, causing drama, and then demanding to be sat someplace when all of the seats were accounted for, and I ended up having to accommodate her and her two additional guests. This will be good for you guys. Oh. I think it's great that she actually brought her nephew. I don't mind her bringing her nephews, but you know, just don't have an attitude. Happy to be here, right, and participate, right? That's how you should come into a charity event. Stay away from all that nonsense. Every seat probably was like a $500 seat that goes to charity. For Marlo to come and take up three seats, that's $1,500 right there. Did she contribute $1 to the event? No. I received Candy's contribution, Cynthia's contribution. And as far as I know, those are the only two people who gave a damn about actually helping someone. So again, it was just her trying to cause drama, her looking bad, and at the end of the day, she did not give a damn about the charity or anything else and never contributed a dime. Right. Classless. Kenya, I just rather, I don't know how you say you feel about Cynthia. I'm just okay with Kenya. Like, hey sis, smile and keep it going. She's dealing with a lot and I'm not that advanced yet to help her. You ain't that advanced in your therapy. No, I'm not there yet. I'm a, <laughs> a work in progress and that's the whole, that's like, Advanced, triple advanced, <laughs> still with her. <laughs>
and we're like in Tokyo turning up and you drink as much as me, you like the same drinks I like. <laughs> I've always thought that, you know, you and I would be like probably the most compatible, really. Absolutely. Out of all of the women on the show because we obviously have a lot more in common. Oh, do we? Yes, we do, mm -hmm. honey. We'll start with the cheekbones and work our way down. <laughs> <laughs> now what else is going on? <laughs> now what else is going on? All right, let's go to a Bravo Insider question. Cynthia, Suzanne A. asks, are you going to move to California with Mike or stay in Atlanta after you're married? Or will you split your time between both places? Hashtag chill. Well, that's a great question. Yeah, so where are you <laughs> going to live, Cynthia? I have inquiring minds oh my would God. like to know. Right now, we are still working it out, uh, just being in a bi-coastal relationship. Mike has a new show, which is basically a talk show uh, about it's pretty so much good. black excellence. It's so good. African American issues, the culture, and so he's spending more time than ever in LA. Okay, so hi. It is 10 9 2020. Tomorrow we get married. It is 10 10 2020. Right. We go on honeymoon. We come back. Where y'all going? <laughs> like, how, how does this work? I just, I'm just wondering. Um, I have this vision in my mind, but, you know, Mike has an opinion about mm -hmm. everything. I can see that. You know, it's not like I can be like, wear this, walk this way. That's not that Cut Mike. your hair like this. He's not that dude. You know, the show that he's on right now is doing really well, so I don't it think is. that's going anywhere. Uh, right now, uh, honestly, I'm spending most of my time in Los Angeles. Right now. That's fine. 10, 10, 10, 2020, right. you go on honeymoon, where are we going? you come back, where do you go? Well, we're either going to be at Lake Bailey or we're going to be, you know, but it's at French. our home it's in LA. Me. Yeah. You know, Mike's whole issue has always been, I don't want to get married and not be in the same house with my wife. I, and, and that's right. what I'm nicely as a friend trying to say to right. you. There is no way you can start this marriage and the relationship with this man for the rest of your life right. and y'all not cohabitate. I totally receive what you're saying. Even if I did live in Los Angeles full time or he lived in Atlanta full time, we're on the road a lot for yeah. work. So we would never be in the house every day together. We just don't have those type of careers. But it's the back to one of it. Right. All. I am in Dallas. You know, girls oh, that's every day. I'm that's in true. Dallas. My husband is on right. different trials in different states. Right. Mike's but on the road a lot too. Is one place. It's right. where we both live. It is where we right. both When you do go exist. home, this is where it where is. Where is that? Well, right now it's like Bailey in LA. It is. I mean, that's just what it is. Are you one right now today? Or a flight? Right. Wherever right. that is, y'all can go to the moon if you want to, but y'all gotta be together. Right.